Keith Peak, and today we're going to be doing a full body circuit training workout. So for this workout, we're going to be going through four circuits in total. Three of these circuits are going to have six exercises, and the third circuit is going to have ten exercises. All of the circuits except the second one will be just one round each. The second one will be two rounds each. Uh, for the working times for each circuit, they will vary each circuit, so be sure to check the description below for the exercises and more information about each circuit. If you like this workout, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and let's get to work. All right, we got about 20 seconds until we get started with our warm-up. If you have a fitness tracking watch, be sure to start your workout now. Our first exercise we're going into for the warm-up is going to be seal jack. So we're going to put our hands out in front of us, feet together, <laughs> and then hop, bring them out, just like that. A little impact, be right here. Here we go. So, nice and easy. Taking your time, going at your own pace for the warm-up. Here we go. Staying off the heels. Don't forget to breathe. So for our next exercise, we're going to go to a knees over toe stretch on the left side. So we'll be dropping down to the ground. There we go. So what we're going to do here, let's get that little split squats position. And then we're going to push way over here. So it's not like our typical hip flexor stretch. We're really trying to get the knee out over the toe here. And then stretching it out, feel it in the hamstring, or uh, not the hamstring, in the calf, and then the quad too. Maybe in the Achilles down here. There we go. Try to put the majority of our weight here. We're gonna be switching sides. There we go, so sides. Knees over to the right side. Slowly kind of push forward, stretching everything out. After this, we're going to be going in to downward dog, more calf stretches. Don't forget to breathe. There we go. So, we get in this plank position and lift our butt in the air. Drive our shoulders down to our feet, and then alternate stretching out the calves. There we go. Try to keep your head up if you can. There we go. After this, we're gonna stand up for chest openers. There we go. So coming up, chest openers, slight bend in the arms. And then pull the arms back. There we go. When you come out, you can kind of pull the arms across and stretch the back out as well. After this, we're going to be going in to arm circles. There we go. Remember, you can go at your own pace. If you need to kind of hold it open or get a little external rotation, you can. There we go. We're going into arm circles here. Nice little small circles, and we'll move to larger ones. If you want it halfway, you can reverse it. There we go. You reverse it if you want. After this, we got a 20 second break, and then we're gonna go into our first circuit, which is gonna be six exercises, 40 seconds on, 20 seconds off. We got hex squats coming up. There we go, hex squats coming up. If you have dumbbells, you're just going to hold the dumbbells by your side. Bands, you're going to step on the band or bands with both feet. Feet about shoulder width apart, maybe even a little less. Arms by the side, dropping down, coming up. Here we go. Here we go, so dropping down, coming up. Make sure to have your chest out, head up. We don't want to be looking down. Trying to keep our weight and our heels here. Here we go, back nice and straight. Dropping down, coming up. Good controlled movements. Exhale as you extend the legs and push back up. Inhale as you drop down. There we go. One more. 
All right, next we're going in to RDLs. So for RDLs, we're going to get our feet much closer together here. And what we're going to do is choke way up on our bands. And then slide bend in the knees, bending at the hips, sinking the butt back, coming down, coming back up. Here we go. So down and up. Make sure to keep your hands nice and close to the legs. Push that butt back as you bend over. We're going to weight in the heels. Stretch it out. You only want to bend over as far as you can while maintaining a straight back. You don't want to just bend over all the way like this and bend the lower back. That's not really working the hamstrings. We're going to feel those hamstrings tighten up. Come back up. There we go. All right, next we're going to do the push-ups or chest press. If you have bands and you want to do a standing chest press, you can. If you can do push-ups, always do push-ups. So bands, put the bands behind you through the armpits and then pressing out, coming back. There we go. So in and out and back. Out and back. Also, if you have bands, if you want, you can even do push-ups with band resisted. If you have dumbbells, you can actually do your push-ups on your dumbbells for that extra little range of motion. There we go. Don't forget to breathe. Come on. Push it out. Let's get one more. There we go. Alright, we're going to bend over rows, left side. So, we're going to get this nice split stance. If you have bands, put it under that right foot or your front foot. Choke up on it. Make sure to brace your lower back with your free hand here. And then we're going to pull up, come back down. Palm is facing the body. Here we go. Come up, squeeze, back down. There we go. Push it out. There we go. Come on. Keep pushing. Let's go. Oh yeah, burn that back up. Four inch of motion all the way up, all the way down. One more. There we go. Switch the sides here. Right side. How are you doing over there? Good. You go up and wait? I did. Uh huh. There we go. Let's go. All the way up. All the way down. Come on. Push yourself. There we go. Come on, keep pushing. Halfway here. Let's go. Burn it up. Now we got one more. There we go. All right, next we're going in to shoulder press. So dumbbells, you're going to do these standing. Bands, you can do them standing if you want. Step on the band with one or both feet. Palms are going to be facing out, elbows in front of the shoulders, pushing up, coming down. If the bands you were maybe a little too short, drop down to the knee, put the band under that knee that is down, same movement here, just like that. Up and down. There we go. Don't forget to breathe. Exhale as you push up, inhale as you bring your hands back down. Here we go, keep the elbows in front of the shoulders. We don't want the elbows, pull them back. Let's go, after this we got a 30 second break, come on. Last one. Here we go. 
30 second break. Going into our next circuit. This circuit is going to be six exercises, two rounds. So we're going to go all through, uh, through all six and then do it a second time. 30 on and then I think it's uh, 15 off. 15 off, yeah. 15 off. All right, so reverse lunges. Left side, so left foot up front, band. Put the band on that left foot. Big step back and then shift our weight back forward, drive up. Here we go. So drive up. And then come back down. I'm taking a big step back here. There we go. Come on. There we go. Push it out. Let's go. Drive up. Come back down. Drive up. Come back down. There we go. Switching sides here. Diagonal. My step is <laughs> big enough to try to reach it anymore. Oh yeah. Yeah, sometimes I do that. My knee will barely hit the back side of it. There we go, driving up. Big step back. Really try to get that wide split stance back here. There we go. So the further you can step back, when you go to shift your weight forward and push up, the more you're gonna feel it in the hamstring and glute. The closer your stance is, if you're just dropping straight down, you're gonna feel it more in the quad. Come on. There we go. All right, next one is the concentration curls. Left side, so we got bicep. Movement here, get a nice split stance. Bend, put the band under your right foot. We're gonna be curling with our left hand. So from here, just like that. Dumbbells are pretty much doing the same thing. So let that dumbbell hang, and then bring it up. If you want, you could pin your elbow with the dumbbells to your knee. Yeah. So traditionally with a dumbbell, you'd be like sitting on a bench, and you could pin the back of your arm to your knee or the inner thigh. Come up, back down, up, back down. There we go. Concentration curl, right side. There we go. Couple seconds. There we go, coming up, squeeze, back down. When we come up, let's try to get that pinky higher than the thumb. So really supinate that wrist. Let's go. Good control movements here. Come on. Push yourself. I'm gonna get another. There we go. All right, next one in to clean pulls. So you don't need super heavy resistance here, especially if you're using bands. Bands, step on the ends of them, or it. And then from here, just gonna pull straight up, come down. Get that right. Boom. Boom, keep that back nice and straight, and then hand close to the body at all times. Come on. Switch it up. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Just pull it up to your chest, but I'm back down. Now one more. There we go. Next one into overhead tricep extensions. Dumbbells, you can use one or two dumbbells. Bands, drop a handle on the ground, step on it, and then you can step through it. I put my thumb through the handle here, bring it up and over. Here you go, coming up, back down. There we go. When you come up, squeeze. Inhale on the way down, exhale on the way up. There we go. Good control movements. Let's go, come on. Push it out. Doing great. Last one here. There we go. Right, we're going back through this. Reverse lunges. Left side coming up. Go and break right here. Here we go. Here we go. Driving up. Coming down. Driving up. 
Come on. Push it out. Let's go. There you go. Big step back. Drive up. There we go. Switching sides. Reverse lunge, right side. There we go, a couple seconds. There we go. Driving up. Big step back. Driving up. Big step back. There we go. Make sure to keep the chest out, head up. Back nice and straight. Come on. Keep pushing. Let's go. Keep working. Come on. Last one here. Drop down. Come up. Boom. There we go. Woo. Concentration curls. Left side. A couple seconds. Here we go. Come up. Squeeze. Back down. Remember, we're trying to get that pinky higher than the thumb. Let's go. Come on. Push it out. There we go. Couple reps left. Let's go. Come on. There we go. Switching sides. Oh no, they choke up a little more. There we go. Couple seconds. Concentration curl, right side. Let's go. Come up and down. Up and down. Come on, push it out. Turn that bicep up. Let's go. Come on. You got it. Don't forget to breathe. There we go. Come on. A few more reps. Let's get two more. That's one. That's two. There we go. Whew. Clean pulls. Come on. Doing great. Keep pushing. A couple seconds. Remember, keep the back nice and straight. Dropping down. Coming up. Down, coming up. There we go. Hand nice and close to the body. Pulling up to the chest. Dropping back down. Exhale as you pull up. Switch it up. Come on. Keep going. Come on. One more. You knew one more was coming, huh? I did. <laughs> Alright. Over here, tricep extension again. After this, we got a 30 second break. Moving on to our third circuit. Here we go. Come on, push it out. Let's go. Here we go. There we go. All right, 30 second break. We're going in to linear jammers. <clears throat> Grab the water open if you need it. Slide my sun off my head. It's going everywhere. <clears throat> All right, so for linear jammers, you can either put your foot through the handle or you can step on the band. Once you do that, back foot is going to be on the back side. So we're going to do left side. So I'm going to step on with the left, step forward, and then push, push up. I'm going to bend on the inside here. Felt weird on the outside. Here we go. Come on. Boom. Boom. Keep that elbow in front of the shoulder. Come on. Push it out. Let's go. Let's go. One more. Here we go. Switching sides.
Here we go. Come on. Push. Push. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Push yourself. Doing the boom. Uh, boom. Boom. Uh, come on. Uh, one more. Uh, there we go. Alright, we're going to step outs next. So pick a target on the ground and then right here. Low impact. You're just stepping out, no hop. Here we go. Come on. Make sure to use those arms. You want our arms just falling by the side. Focus on using the arms and moving them faster, and the feet will follow. Come on. After this, we're dropping to the ground for power push ups. Let's go. Ah, there we go. Dropping down to the ground, power push ups. So, make sure with these, try to keep those elbows in. We don't want them flared out. Dropping down, exploding up. Boom. Boom. If you can't explode up, that's fine. Just push up as hard as you can. Come on. Push it. There we go. We're going to plank jacks next. We're going to stay down on the ground here. We're going to be in plank position, feet together, hot feet apart. Just like that. There we go. If this is too tough, a little impact. Just step one foot out at a time, keeping a foot in the center. Come on. That's still too tough, then just try to hold a plank. Come on. Let's go. We're standing back up after this. Going into alternating reverse grip rows. There we go. So pop up real quick. Bending at the hips and knees here. Palms facing out away from us, elbows tucked. Here we go. Left, right, or right, left. Left, Switch right. Come on. Push it out. Keeping that back nice and straight, chest out, head up. Let's go, let's go. Come on, come on. One more. There we go, we've got half jacks next. So feet together. We're only going halfway up here. Bam, come back down. Little impact, you're right here. Come on, come on. Let's speed this up though. Let's go. We're gonna move our arms so fast. We're about to take off. Let's go. Come on, come on. Let's go. Keep pushing. There we go. Next we got squat hops. So we're dropping down, getting a nice little hop. We're not jumping, little hop. Here we go. If that's too tough, I just want you to come up, get a calf raise. Drop down, come up, get a calf raise. So nice little quick ones. Here we go. Try to keep it nice and smooth. Let's go. There we go. <laughs> Gotta get some rhythm going, huh? There we go. Bicep curls next. Here we go. Palm facing out away from us. Curling up, coming back down. Let's go. Don't forget to breathe. Arms stay by the side. Let's go. Don't let those elbows kick back. Come out, squeeze. Back down. One more. Go to the lateral raises next. Much lighter weight if you have bands. Make sure you're doing dumbbells. So, coming out. Back down. Slight bend in the elbow here. Let's go. Try to keep your thumbs above the pinkies when you're out here. Let's go. Push it out. One more. There we go. 30 seconds. We're going into abs. So we got six exercises. Coming up, 30 on, 15 off. We're going to be on our back first for bicycle crunches. Woo. Got the sweat going. Here we go, dropping down. Now get this thing right. Hand behind the head. Alternating opposite knee to elbow here. So, coming up, coming over. Here we go. Go at your own pace here. 
Quality over quantity, trying to keep the shoulder blades off the ground. Squeeze the core. Let's go. Come on, you got it. 10 seconds, let's go. We're gonna stay on our back after this. There we go. All right, hands go up under the butt here. Legs go out. Try to keep your head off the ground here. Just like this, boom, boom. If you want with the leg lifts, you can get the hip thrust. So, hip thrust, when we come up, boom, pop up. Get those hips up. Make sure to exhale when your legs are coming up. There we go, come on, push it out. Squeeze the core. Keep pushing. There we go. All right, flipping over. Play position. Knee to elbow here. So we're going to do 15 seconds on the left side, 15 seconds on the right side. Just bam, bam. That's too tough. Drop down to your knees and do it. Here we go. Same side, knee to elbow. Bam, bam. Every time you pull the knee up, Exhale. Let's go. Let's go. Switch it up. Come on. Keep pushing. Let's go. Let's go. Gaze the core. There we go. All right, we're going into crunches. Back on our back here. If you want, you can keep. Your feet on the ground or up in the air. Hands behind the head. Drain your boom. Make sure when you come up, you exhale. Here we go. Come up. Big breath out. Come back down. Squeeze the core here. Try not to use your arms to pull you up. If you want, put those feet up in the air. Here we go. Come on. Push it out. All right, next we're going into reverse crunches. So what we're going to do here, hands go up under the butt again, feet are out. We're bringing them up in, coming back out. Try to keep the head off the ground again here. So feet out, bringing them up, squeeze. Back down. Every time you bring the knees up, exhale. This is too tough. Drop the knees here, or drop the feet here, and then come back up. Just like that. Come on, keep pushing. One more. There we go. Oh, right, we got crossbody pike crunches. So a couple options here. If you want, you can just keep the feet up and try to go left hand, right foot, right hand, left foot. Or you can start hands out, feet out, and come up and cross over. Again, every time you come up, try to get the shoulder blades off the ground. Here we go. If it's too tough for pike, then just keep your knees bent, hands up. Just like that instead. There we go. Remember to exhale. One more. There we go. Woo! We are finished. And I have a ton of sweat in my ears. Yeah, really? Yeah, every time. There we go. Woo! My abs are on fire now. In a matter of minutes. Oh, way to go today. Hope you guys yeah. enjoy that workout. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you guys next time. See you guys. Bye.